Good evening, and welcome back to Mage Quest. I'm Modi Apparandus. On today's episode, we're going to do a little bit more work with Thalmcraft and get into some alchemy. Should be pretty cool. Let's get going. Alright, so as I mentioned, today we're going to be getting back into some Thalmcraft. I want to get some alchemy set up here, a little alchemy station for us. Uh, I also want to see if we can go find some uh, some silverwood trees to go plant some saplings over by the the um, the bad part over there, the uh, tainted area over here, so we can try to stop it from spreading into our land, because it's getting awfully close. I don't know if it's growing or not, it might just be my perception of it, but it's awfully close to our house here, and if we plant some silverwood, we can start fighting back against it. I think it's getting closer here. So we need to get, grow some silver wood close enough to this to affect some of the the, uh, the tainted areas here, but not close enough that the, the sapling will get overrun before it is time to grow. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any means of growing it quickly. We have to wait for time's sake. So we'll go out on a little adventure and gather, gather some silver wood. Hopefully find a sapling. They're fairly rare, actually. But we'll find a sapling, hopefully, today. Uh, assuming we find a tree. That'll be good. Uh, the other thing I want to do today is start the alchemy uh, side of uh, Thumbcraft here today. Uh, so I got that page open here. We got to set up a basic cauldron here, uh, which is just a cauldron. Actually, it's a crucible is what it's called. So we make a crucible by taking a cauldron and then tapping with the wand. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. We can make that cauldron right now, actually. I think we should have enough for that, of course. Yes, we do. And this will be important because it's a, there's a lot of things that we can make in uh, alchemy here that we'll use in other recipes for Thumbcraft and yada yada. So we'll make one of these today here quick. We'll grab our wand back out of the table here. And, um, you know what? I was doing a little bit of research here. We have to do a little more research today. Uh, and as far as running out of aspects, I don't think that's going to be a problem for me anymore. We have 48, 36 of the basic aspects. We can combine these together. 35, 20. And then I did a little research and I figured out the best way of getting more aspects today. So I'm actually going to share that with you right now. Uh, one of the best ways is Nether Ward here. And so let's take this down to my uh, little station here. Let's replant it. I try to find whatever the most reasonable or replenishable source is that we can that we can get easily um, so that we can, don't have to run out of aspects ever and we get good stuff. So another ward is nice because it has all of the aspects contained in it. Did I even scan it yet? Oh wow. And that's how far behind the times I am. Let's scan it right now. So it has Herba and uh, the magic wand here. I forgot what the magic one's called here. Uh, Precantio. Precantio? Precantio. Uh, Precantio has uh, uh, vacuous and uh, Potentia, so that's Orgo and your fire. Uh, vacuous is your other side, the air and the, the Prodigio. And then, of course, it has Herba, right, is the uh, other one here. And Herba is Earth and Life. And Life is, actually, yeah, it's Terra there. Life is, um, I think it's Earth and Water, right? So as you can see, all six aspects are present in Nether Ward, so that makes it a really nice resource for gaining back aspects. I'm gonna take this downstairs and throw it in my deconstruction table. I have a few more set up down here so we can get aspects even faster and uh, have multiple things going at once here. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. And actually, that was not that great. Oh, well, that's too bad. All right, well, Nether Ward is pretty good. It has all the aspects in it, but the best one is right outside the door here, and that is these sheep right here. These sheep are actually the best resource or aspects I can find in the game. So let's shear some sheep here and I'll show you why that is. Pull these down, just like that. Okay, so we got uh, six pieces of wool. Let's see how many aspects we get off of that. Let's go down here and let's pop it into here. And we'll go, let's see, let's take a look here. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's two. Oh, that's three. Oh, four. Five. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's six. That's right. Every single time you throw wool in the deconstruction table, it's going to create a research point for you. Awesome. That's it's almost overpowered. The fact that we can get wool so easily by just breeding a few sheep, we're going to breed a lot more sheep than this. So we have a never ending supply of aspects. And then if you look at the aspects for wool, do I have any sitting around here so I can re remember what the aspects are? I'm sure I do. Yeah, I've got some wool sitting here. So the aspects for wool are uh, this, this um, Fabrico, is it called? Let's see real quick. Pa Panis. And then the other one is the... Uh, that's right, it's Fabrico. Fabrico, okay, so Fabrico and Panis. So let's take a look at the Panis thread. The Panis thread is the uh, Instrumentum and the uh, Bestia? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Bestia. And Bestia is Modus and Victus. And Victus, we've already learned, is Water and Earth. And Modus is Air and Ordo. So that's two. That's th four of the six covered already. And then if we look at the other strand of that, so if we just look at the um, Instrumentum, it contains uh, Ordo again which is kind of a good thing because we need a lot of Ordo for a lot of different recipes. And then Humanus. Humanus is Bestia again. 
So we're coming back to the exact same thing we got. Incognitio. Incognitio is Earth and Spiritus. Spiritus is uh, Victus and Mortis. And Victus we already covered. And Mortis we have is uh, Perdidio. So that's that's already covered then too. So there's a lot of it's a lot of like Earth and water heavy, I would say, on this one. But also it has um, enough that we can actually get... Let's see. So if you go Fabrico... Yeah, so the only thing missing here, I think, is fire still? Is that the only one missing, really? Because that's the only one that I'm seeing that's missing. Is there anything related to this that's fire? Let's see here quick. This is, yeah, or Aaron Ordo. So fire is the only thing that's not represented with the wool. But the fact that we can get, uh, you know, we can we can find other sources for fire, that'll be pretty good. Um, maybe even, even in torches, or maybe just coal in general. Yeah, coal in general has two. Now, it's not a super complex aspect, so it's going to be difficult to come by that one. Maybe a uh, redstone might be a good source. Let's see, Mechana, what's, what's that one uh, with the gears? Mechana. Uh, yeah, that's not going to contain any fire either. Well, that's too bad. But still, um, I think that's probably pretty good. I mean, the fact that we can get an aspect every single time we put a piece of wool in here is fantastic. No, no, not that. Oh my god, that would have been terrible. Um, I don't think any of the aspects are on this thing. So that would be terrible if it phrased to that. This uh, Rod of the Seas, I don't think I talked about. It's from Botania, and all that lets us do is create water, just like that. Um, probably was a mistake to just do that right now, but it's going to be super helpful for our cauldron here. Oh, that's not right. Let's put a torch down right here. That did it. Okay, cool. Um, so we can fill our cauldron very, very easily with uh, using this, this thing here. So let's put the cauldron right here. We'll need to put a, uh, a nether rack underneath it to heat it. We need a lava source. I don't have a fire source underneath it. I'll use nether rack because that creates a nice flame, nice crackling flame underneath it. Uh, let's see, nether rack. There we go. And we'll need our uh, flint and steel out. And actually, we need to turn this into. It's because it's still just a regular cauldron. We need to turn it into a crucible, just like this. There we go. It doesn't require any uh, V or anything like that. We can just um, change it over like that. So what we need now is the flint and steel, and then we'll need to do a little bit of research after that. So our cauldron is ready to go, and then we can also fill it up with the... Oh, this is not working. Oh, no, don't tell me it doesn't work. Well, that's terrible if it doesn't. Oh, wow, now I made a big old mess here. Oh, man, I really thought the rod, the rod of the seas would work on this. Let's try it again here quick. Let's make sure. Oh, wow, it doesn't work. Oh, no, that's too bad. Okay, so we're going to have to create an infinite water source down here. I thought this would work, but I guess not. Well, then we'll have to have another uh, water source sitting around here, unfortunately. Uh, let's throw a torch in there to kill up that water, and then we'll light it back up here. So that's too bad, but we can create an infinite water source pretty easily down here. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll just go like right here, and then we'll fill it with some Rod of the Seas here, and that'll work at least. So we'll need a bucket here. I'll put like an item frame down here below our little zombie head and have a bucket in it that we can refill it easily. I really wish this would work. I really wish there was some interaction between Thomcraft and Botania, but it um, doesn't seem, seem like that'll be likely to happen. Anyways, let's light this back up so we're not missing any light here, and then we can start our research into getting some alchemy done here. So uh, what we need to do next is uh, choose what research we want to do next. I think we want to get the two main ones are going to be uh, Niter and uh, Magical Metallurgy. This is going to unlock a few different things, but Niter is going to unlock the the next level of alchemy that we'll want to do here. So let's add the research note. I think we also need to add the research note for Elementum to unlock this as well. So we'll add that too, and then we'll add the Metallurgy and that should be all we need for right now yeah oh purifying flower we might want this too okay let's oh we need we need uh more paper in our system all right so i'm gonna research these three things it's gonna be uh, a little tedious i'm sure but we can figure it out i'm getting better at this uh lux to fire is not gonna be tough at all because it already contains fire so we can actually just go uh
There we go. Okay, we got it. We got Ethereal Bloom now. Not too bad. That one was a little bit more complicated, but we got it done. All right, so let's let's research these things quick and add them to our uh, repertoire. And now we should have unlocked. Yes, we can worry about Essentia Dissertation next time. For now, we're going to work on... Ooh, we want Metal Purification too? Probably. Probably. Um, that might be another time, though. Right now, we're going to make some Niter. And uh, I think Niter is going to be part of this. And also, if we take a look at this here... Uh, we can make the ethereal bloom. Shimmerly flowers have purifying properties that lie dormant. When you have found we, you've, we have found a way to make these properties and turn into ethereal bloom. So we could turn shimmer leaf into an ethereal bloom. And surely restores the land corrupted by mystical means to its former glory. This includes blight known as taint. While it cannot combat taint directly, a few tainted growths can survive outside their native environment for long and tend to die back. Okay, so... Um, Let's do that. So flowers only purify the land, bathe in its light outside, out to a range of eight blocks. So we're getting a lot of these things, but this is what I want to work on getting so we can start beating back some of that taint. We'll need uh, some shimmer leaf for this though, and shimmer leaf will need silver wood. So um, silver wood and shimmer leaf uh, has the same kind of purifying powers. We need to make ethereal blooms to do even more. So let's go on a little adventure here to find some silver wood trees. Uh, is it nighttime or is it daytime? Where are we at for time here? Uh, just about the beginning of the day. Okay, so let's go on a little adventure here um, for some ethereal blooms. And by that, I will mean uh, we'll go looking for some silverwood trees here in just a moment. All right, so I think we're ready to go on an adventure. I got my map set up correctly. It was kind of it was showing nighttime, even though it was daytime. Uh, now we're ready to go on an adventure to find some silverwood trees here. Now, unfortunately, in order to get this, we're going to have to cut them down to get their leaves. Or we could probably just try to knock the leaves out to see what we can get that way. But uh, it is unfortunate that we're going to have to cut them down because they don't always give you back a they don't always give you back a sapling. So saplings are kind of rare from the silverwood trees, uh, but we'll try to find one if we can. Uh, we, I don't know how many we're going to have to cut down. Hopefully not too many, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm sure bad stuff happens to us for uh, cutting these down. We should probably introduce more flux into the world by cutting these down, which is a bad thing. That's all I know about it really is that flux is bad. Um... Flux is what causes the taint. I don't know if Flux can all of a sudden just... I think the taint is just spawned there. I don't think we can actually create new taint. But maybe we can. And if that's the case, that's going to be a very big problem for us. But that's why we're going to go far away from our house to find one of these trees. So I explored south here a little bit in my previous adventures. I don't think I did anything on camera going this way. But uh, I was just kind of looking around to see what I could see. There was something I want to take a look at today too. As long as if we get... Depending on how far south we get, I want to take a look at it if we can get over there. Uh, I didn't go all the way to it. So we'll have to check it out, but uh, it looked like another one of these ruins things from the ruins mod um, that will uh, spawn these. The ruins mod basically spawns these little structures you'll see occasionally. And uh, it's pretty cool that you can actually go into like creative mode in another world or something and create new ruins if you want to. And I thought about doing that maybe for the series, make some other extra ruins that are specific to my series and the game locked up. There we go. Oh my God. Make some little ruins that are specific to my series. I'm pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I might, I might do that. I might do that. I don't know what kind of ruins I would make exactly, but they'll spawn randomly, which is kind of cool. And oh, we found one. Cool. All right. So we've got a silver witch. Oh, we got two silver wood trees. Okay. So hopefully from one of these, we can get some uh, saplings. I'm just going to cut them down and uh, hopefully the best will happen for us and that we'll get a silver wood tree or a silver wood uh, sapling. We can bring one over to the, the taint by us here. At the very least, we should be able to find some shimmer leaf around here. Yeah, here we go. It's shimmer leaf. This will be good for making those ethereal blooms. A vis shroom. Interesting. We only had one shimmer leaf here. Well, that's pretty cr crappy. All right, this tree's got to come down. It's not producing enough, uh, not enough, not enough silver leaf for us or shimmer leaf for us. So we'll, we'll uh, cut it down for sure. And hopefully, 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 we can get a sapling out of this. Oh no. Oh no. I'm starting to get some uh, warp. Uh oh, this is not good. So I'm cutting down, by cut, introducing more flux into the world, you start to get a little warp effect you just saw there. Your heart starts racing, your vision goes blurred. And it's, if it's prolonged, I guess it can have permanent effects. I haven't actually seen it, because I haven't done enough with Thumbcraft, uh, where this has been in the game, actually, um, to find out what that's all about. But uh, hopefully, 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 we don't do too much here to uh, have some lasting effects on us. Get out of here, eagle. What are you doing? Got an eagle butt hanging out here. All right, so let's let this decay for a minute, and we'll see if we can get a sapling from this. Oh, here's another shimmer leaf. Awesome. Grab that, too. But yeah, that warp is a uh, scary business. It freaked me out the first time it happened. 
Uh, and now, as you can see, it just happened again here. So, all right, let's let this decay for a minute. I'm gonna maybe go around punching the leaves here, see if we can get a sapling to fall. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, we get one. All right, we got one. Awesome. Oh my, my warp is back. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to find a way to combat this eventually. Oh, it's, it's still there. Okay, good. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay, we got one. I think I'm not gonna press my luck right now because I'm kind of nervous about that warp right now. But now that we know where the magical forest is here, we can actually get more of this. And actually, we might want to, if we ever want to build a base, we might want to build it down here because this is a lot of nice trees we can use. There's some great wood. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of mana beans growing around here, which is great in case we need anything else like that. Um, let's take a look at my map here quick and see how close we are to. Yes, this is what I saw on the ruins. Okay, we're pretty close to it. Let's head over there quick. So I want to take a look at it quick and see what it's all about. I didn't venture over there and I saw it pop up on my map and it's like, oh, that'll be interesting to explore. So let's head over that way and see what we can find. So I don't know what we're going to find over here exactly, but it might be cool to use this as a base down the road. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, it might be nice. It's a little bit bigger area than what we have before, but the, honestly, the, the thing we don't have is grass over there, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's like a floating, a floating island right in the middle of the water here. Really, really cool. So let's go take a look and see if there's any goodies to pillage from here, first of all. And then see if uh, maybe we want to move in here eventually. So, the... I have a lot of these end, end portals here. I don't think we can actually use them for anything. They're just decoration. Uh, let's see, we got a name tag. We got some talismans. Mining talisman. Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. That means we don't have to uh, make one of those. That's something I really wanted. Um, iron leggings, awesome. We got B double O's head, awesome. Uh, let's see, anything in here? Nope, nothing in there. Okay, let's keep let's keep pillaging around here and see what else we can find. Uh, movement talisman. Oh man, we're like a lot of good stuff here. And Rithian's head, cool. A fellow mage, I see. Um, what can we throw back here? I don't think if we leave iron leggings behind. Uh, we want to take a music disc? I think we'll leave it here. We know where it is in case we want it for anything. But, um, oh, an enchantment table. Did I ever scan one of these? I didn't. There we go. That'll help be helpful. Uh, we could scan music discs. I know we already got that done. Iron legs I didn't scan yet. Let's get that done. All right, so, um, put this away. Uh, what else? Anything else here? A little, uh, crow's nest. Oh, we got, like, beds with armor in them. Nice. How's my armor doing? It's, it's doing okay, I guess. Uh, what do we get here? Knockback. Oh, enchanted books. Awesome. And some knowledge fragments. Lifted coffee's head. Duncan. Nice. Uh, Surge DPs. I'm not familiar with him, unfortunately. Um, what else? Standard binding angel. This will be good for blood magic. We'll leave this here for now. Water talisman. And caveman film's head. Oh, man. There's so much good stuff I want to carry with me and everything. But uh, I'll leave the iron horse armor behind. Probably won't need that. Uh, the water talisman is pretty valuable. We'll take that. Um, and Jeb's head, nice. Strippin's head, Slowpoke 101's head, and I don't have room for all these heads. Okay, we're leaving the heads behind. As much as it would be great to have, you know, Rithian's head on my wall, um, I'm not gonna take his head. So let's head back home now. It is night, so it's gonna be a bit of a fight on our hands, but I think we'll be okay. I think we can manage. We've managed it before. Or actually, you know what I can do? I can sleep here for the night and then just uh, take off in the morning. So let's do that. Let's just sleep here. It'll reset my spawn over here. Oh, we got a pirate ship. Oh, we got to explore that too, right? Pirate ship out in the middle of nowhere? We got we to gotta explore that. Okay, let's let's swim over there. And let's explore this pirate ship at night. It looks good. Oh, man. I love the sail on that. Really cool. Really, really cool. All right. So let's see if there's anything cool on this pirate ship. You know, the, you know what we don't ever see is magical pirates. You never see... Oh, 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 this could be very bad. Oh, uh, we're getting shot at already. Let's head up here. Oh, it's a haunted ship. There's a lot going on in here. Oh, no. All right, so it looks like there's a ton of zombie spawners down in there. Be super careful. Let's better eat something quick here. Oh, what do I have? Steak? Okay, let's eat the steak. Uh, let's get our torches at the ready. Now let's pop one down there right away. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. All right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, what do we have that's powerful? Anything? Just our sword, really. Uh, 
the skeleton wants to mess with me right here. Oh, God. Luckily, they can't seem to hit me. Oh, there's so many down there. All right, we have to get in there and mix it up, I think. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, there's one. We light it up enough, we'll be okay. Oh, they can climb ladders now? Oh my god, I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know zombies were smart enough to climb ladders. They're still spawning in there, okay? Is there a way on the other side here? Here, well, here's what I'll do. I'll take apart this wall here. And I'll see if I can throw some torches in there. Oh my god, all right, we're gonna shot from all sides. If I light it up enough in the general area here, it should be okay. Jeez. Got to use the mask as a shield. All right, I think we're okay. If we drop down here, there might be enough light to stop them from spawning at this point. Yeah, it looks like there is. Okay, good. We're going to get trapped here in a second, though. No, no, no! All right, cool. Put some more torches down. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh boy. No! Get out of, out of harm's way here for a second. And uh, regroup for a minute. Alright, so they're spawning outside this area. Oh. Well, now, that's no good. Um, I just, just flooded the area here. Why is there water underneath the, the mast? Let's use a piece of wood here and see if we can uh, stop it from flooding in here. There we go. Oh, I wonder if that was intentional or not, because that's a that's a devious trap. Okay, here we go. All right, another one bites the dust, and I think we should have enough light in here to uh, stop it from spawning. Now I don't think we've scanned a spawner yet, so I'm gonna take this advantage of that right now. No, we already did. No, it's a torch. There we go. Muscle? No, not that. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't scan this. There we go. There we go. Okay, mission accomplished. Oh boy. For some reason, these torches are not stacking for us now, though. That's really weird. Oh, another one coming in. All right, we gotta get out of here. I think. We've pressed our luck for far too long, and they're spawning like crazy outside here in the water. And the fort unfortunate part is they're not gonna go away uh, in the in the daylight because it's it's wet around here. Um, okay, so I think we're just gonna wait until morning, and then we'll make a break for it. Um, I don't know what else to do here right now. Surrounding the pirate ship. Alright, I think if we get to safety over there, we'll be okay. We can rest the night. I'm gonna fl take it to the skies, I think, to get over there. Um, so we'll do that. Let's, let's do a little bit of a- Oh, oh god, I don't wanna be down here. Oh boy, alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so let's go... This way. Jump! Okay, I think, we, I think we'll be okay. We can get a little distance between us and the, the archers, we'll be okay. Alright, they're not coming after us anymore. He's gonna be firing, I think, but we're out of range. Okay, good. If we can go over here, we'll be safe for the night. And the Rod of the Skies will help us get there. It's still effective in water, which I do like. That fact of it. That's pretty nice. Okay, we made it back. I'm gonna sleep the night here. And then, uh, the next day it should be safe enough to walk back home, I think. All right, it's a bright, shining day here. We found this little fort. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for the episode. Uh, I'll make it back to the house pretty safely, I think. I don't think it'll be much problem now that it's daytime. We got here, no no incidents whatsoever, so should be pretty safe. Uh, I've been Modi, thank you so much for watching. We got a little bit of a foray into alchemy today. Uh, we'll start doing more with that later. We didn't really do a whole lot. Um, mostly was adventuring though, but really the, the, uh, the main thing is that we got some silver wood so we can start combating the taint near our main house, so. Uh, I've been Modi, thank you so much for watching, I'll be back for another episode very, very soon. If you're enjoying it, please let me know, and I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.